Krista from Sri Leone. Okay. And the first question is, um, what challenges face women getting into politics in your country? Yeah, women have a lot of challenges. One, we have a lot of cultural barriers that prevent women from getting into politics. We have a lot of discrimination against women. Women have a lot of financial difficulties. You cannot go into politics without finances. And the most women are poor, they cannot provide. The, we also have the concept where men feel that uh, women should be at the back. They should be in the kitchen and not in politics. We have uh, the policies of the political parties in nominating women to become candidates for elections. These are very crucial and uh, women find it very difficult to be selected, even where they are competent. So these are some of the barriers that are women really face in our country. Okay. Um, what kinds of support should women should, should be provided to women? Should they manage to get into more political spaces? Yeah, we feel that women need to be financially supported. They need to have training. We need the women to have a lot of training. We also want the women to have uh, education. But these are some of the issues the men raise. Where are the women? Do you have the women who are capable? But we have a lot of women who are educated, but we feel more women should be educated so that they can make. Then the government should really have policies that support women. We, in Sierra Leone, we are advocating for a 30% safe seat for women. We feel government should look at some of these uh, legislatures they have so that uh, they implement these to give opportunity for women to have a chance. Then the electoral laws again, like uh, the uh, uh, voter systems, how it is being done and so on. We feel some of these need to be changed so that um, women have more opportunities to go into elections and have a safer seat to win. Okay, and finally, do you think more women in the political system can transform politics? Yes, this is what we've been. Because in most of our countries, especially in the African countries, the, the, the population of the women are more than the men. Like in Sierra Leone, we have about 52% of the population being women. And these women have their own needs. And for development to take place in these countries, we feel the men and the women need to work together so that the, the women can articulate issues that affect women. And they're looking at women being mothers, they have a lot of concern for people. And they will feel the, the, the interest of the youths and the children will be taken on board. We look at mother, the, the women, their wives, housewives. They will look at the interests of uh, men and all of that. And uh, together we always say two heads are better than one. We feel that if the women and the men come together and they look at issues about development of their country, then uh, much, much more can be done than just having the men to be in politics. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very pleasure. much. Thank you.